So what is this mysterious mitre setting in stroke properties? The mitre value can be found in the stroke properties and applies to the mitre and bevel joint types. It determines when to apply a sharp or flat corner in the stroke. There is some abracadabra math going on, which I will explain later in the video if you're interested. But in fact, it is just a complex way of stating a maximum angle before a flat corner turns into a sharp corner. Here are some mitre values for common angle degrees. Currently, the mitre value is set to 3.86, which translates to 30 degrees. When I move the left node, notice how we get a flat corner between the 15 and 30 degree angles. Once I touch and go over the 30 degrees, the corner becomes sharp. The calculated mitre value basically is less than 3.863, so no beveling or a flat corner will be applied. If I now set the mitre value to 2, we should have a flat corner until the angle of the node is less than 60 degrees. When I pass the 60 degrees, the angle becomes sharp as the angle is now more than 60 degrees. The formula to calculate the mitre value is as follows. 1 divided by the cosinus of 90 minus half of the angle. If you like geometry and math, keep watching as I will try to explain how we get to this formula. Just be gentle with me as I am not a math teacher, but I will do my best. Let's zoom into this node which has an angle of 90 degrees. First, we need to know what the mitre value is. The mitre value is the distance from the node until the corner of the stroke. To calculate this length, we can use a triangle where C will correspond with the mitre value. I remember from school where there was this guy called Pythagoras and he had this amazing formula that A square plus B square would equal C square. For the mitre calculation, the orthogonal distance from the node to the outer border of the stroke is defined as 1, which in this case corresponds with A. In this example, we have a 90 degrees angle, which means that the distance of B will be equal to A. So the distance C, which is our mitre value, will be the square root of 2, which resolves to 1.414 and something. Let's zoom out and set the mitre value to 1.414 and see what happens. Notice how the corner gets flattened. If I now move the node to the left, the angle gets bigger and we get a sharp corner again. Moving the node to the right makes the angle smaller and when it gets smaller than 90 degrees, the sharp corner is replaced by a flat corner. We were able to calculate the mitre value at 90 degrees, which was easy as both of the sides of the triangle, A and B, were equal. But how do we calculate the mitre value when this is not the case? In this case, A is still 1, but B is unknown. What we do know is the angle of the curve object. When we look at the ABC triangle, we can determine that alpha, the angle between B and C, is half of the curve angle. If we know alpha, we can deduct beta, the angle between A and C, as the sum of all angles in a triangle should be 180. We have a 90 degree angle between A and B, leaving 90 degrees for alpha and beta. So the beta angle should be 90 minus the alpha angle. We also know that the cosinus of beta equals A divided by C. With this knowledge, we can now deduct the length of C, which is 1 divided by the cosinus of 90 minus half of the curve angle. So for 80 degrees, this will be 90 minus 40, cosinus of that value, and then inverse it, which leaves the mitre value of 1.555. Let's put that value in our stroke properties and see what happens. If our theory and calculation is right, we should get a sharp corner when the angle becomes larger than 80 degrees. This indeed happens when I cross the 80 degree line. I hope my math skills were clear enough and hopefully this all made some sense. I also hope that this clarified the mitre value used by affinity with strokes. I also promise in the next video I will not use any math. 
Thank you for tuning in again. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Take care and until the next video.